Hey everybody, welcome to Mortal Shell Enhanced Edition Part 2, I guess. I've played this before, I haven't beaten it. I got a little bit past the beginning. This is Dark Souls indie style. To say that it, you know, it's it's supposed to be very hard and it's supposed to have this Dark Soulsy look, but it's made from a very passionate group of people that love the Dark Souls franchise and it's a little bit cheaper. You can definitely tell that, but it still looks gorgeous. And this is, again, the PS5 version, the enhanced edition, if you will. Which means that it's supposed to be running at 60 frames of 4K. And, I mean, it looks really good already, but I haven't played this game in a long time, so I will actually have to play the tutorial. And I didn't have that much trouble the very first playthrough. Again, didn't beat it, but I'm excited to actually beat it this time and pay a little bit more attention. I feel like I can definitely tell it's at 60 frames, or am I stupid? Hmm. I, I like the way the game looks. <laughs> You have the inherited ability to harden your body. Hardening is L2. And you can only do that once every while, I believe. Bop. Beautiful. The hardening ability is kind of like the parry. And I get a sword. Gimme, gimme. My butt looks pretty funky. I really like this game. It, it, I like when indie developers try to do a AAA title because not only is that at a discount, which everyone loves, but it's not because they're like, hey, we can make money off of this. It's because it's made with passion and love while attacking with R1, hold L2 to heart. R1 and an L2. Oh, come on. Come on. Alright, I'm good. I'm good. I gotta learn. Circles dodge, not X. Alright, so... I gotta do this. There we go. I'm gonna die. Most likely a lot in this game. I'm fully okay with that. Let's take a look at the surroundings. There's not much to see in this area, but it gets... Oh, it gets going very quickly. Mortal token. A token which begets a connection to the mortal realm. So, left, right, to select item, up to use it in an open inventory. Is that good? Okay. Hold to s attack and then... Okay. Again, it's been a while since I played, so I actually do need this refreshing tutorial. Here we go. Okay, so. There we go. We do have stamina. Oh, we gotta lock on. What am I doing? There we go. We're okay. Let my hardened ability get up. We're gonna win this. 100%. Oh, dodge, dodge. There you go. We're doing good. There's, if you do it at the right timing, I believe you do get a parry on. We actually might win this. I don't think I won this on my first try. Get dodged, scrub. Get on my level. Yeah. See, once you know how to play, it's simple. You just win. No, 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 no. Don't get cocky. Run. Why aren't you backpedaling? 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 Now flee. This direction. There we go. See? Relatively easy.
probably could have dodged that instead of hardening. That's my fault. I didn't think he'd attack. No, 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 no. I might still lose this. There we go. We're doing good. We're doing good. Bop. Get bop. You just got bop con five. Get bop. No, no, I hit dodge. Call BS game. There we go. Just flee. Got a lot of stamina. Going for a kill. Not a kill, but you get the point. We're good, we're good. We still got our hardening ability. Why would you waste it? Wasn't attacking. There we go. That was beautiful. Beautiful show of power. Oh, we're doing so good. I'm so proud of me right now. Just flee. It's alright. You got your hardening ability. What the? When that rock gets there, I <laughs> call BS on that. Don't attack! Okay, we're good. We actually got out of that. And it kind of scares me we did. No, 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 we didn't get out of that though. Can I attack? Okay, he's that. Okay, so we're one hit away. I don't think we're gonna win this. Gonna be honest though. I think we put up a heck of a fight. We might. We might. Oh god. Can we though? We got this. Come on. We're good. We gotta make a run for it over here. Infinite room. Dude, we got a pattern down. Go for the lunge when you get your hardening ability. If he hardens, so be it. Just flee. Harden. Parry. Now run. Good job. Oh, we got this in the bag. Like a Donkey Kong. Don't swing. Don't swing. Don't swing. Don't ever go for that. Let's. Let's go. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of Dark Souls. I don't know if you can tell. I like Dark Souls, and I like this game a whole bunch. I have no clue about the lore of this. That'd be really cool if the game was a sequel. I don't know if it's a sequel material. I think it's just a... Uh... I'm glad that you ate me. Joke's on you, the game was rigged from the start. The load times are definitely faster. Like, yeah. Fulgrim, a tower hums where a muted dweller ruminate, ruminates his fate. Like a fine wine. Horizon, my bony friend. That, don't take that out of context. Please, don't. All right, what do we got? Why am I so slow? There we go. Nothing in here. I really like the, the load times. I think for most games are just just so impressive. Also, my health is very low. I don't, I don't know why it's that low. I mean, I know I took damage, but do I not reach in it ever? I believe there's different shells is what they're called in this game, which is basically like, think of it like Spider-Man outfits. They, that you you're basically playing a different character, but with the same moveset. Some have different movesets, of course, but 
I believe it's only four or five other than this guy. You get shells, and if you die, you can go back to the shell once. And if you die again, I believe you're out. And you also start with very low HP. And if you die, you spawn back as this guy without a shell, and I believe you have to retrieve the other shells. So it's kind of like a roguelike. Just more triple-A looky. I don't know what direction we're crawling in anymore. Okay, now I do. That would look like a ribcage. That look really nice. That scared me. Like, I mean, you could just, you can tell that it's heavily inspired by Dark Souls. What do you got? What is this? Hello? Alright, cool. I don't know which way to go. Left first. Oh, this is our first shell. Okay. Inherit it. And I believe that gives us a whole bunch of HP. Notice this bolt. It will. What is wrong with me? Come here, my child. Let me inside your suit of armor. I really like the the hidden. I, I wouldn't even say that. I really like the potential of lore behind this game that I'm not a, a uh, that I'm not aware of. A man is more than just a sleep unknown shell and happy. Yeah, this guy just gets more HP with a lot of stamina. I do believe. Indubitably. Give me that mushroom, please, and thank you. They do have an 8-bit mode that I might give a try. A glimpse of fruit, of futility and nearly opaque. It's nearly opaque. Good lord, I can't speak. Can I break anything open here? No, I, mean, I can open it. I can kick it really nicely. So, if I do something enough with an item, I believe it rewards me with lore. And this shows me, yeah, a path that I can go for a shell. Or a path I need to go, or should go. So, and uh, I've, I believe I've retrieved two shells. And that's as far as I've gotten. So, probably another hour and a half of gameplay, and then I'm there. It's, it's a short game, though. I'd say, like, what, four hour experience, maybe? Let's go up there first, get this item, and then push them. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Pardon? Attack me. You know you want to. Thank you. And you're dead. What do you got for me? Nope. You. He's really good at that loot. I love it. Alright, here we go. I try no stop. Don't get distracted. Okay, let me go to I don't know what this does. Use to gain glimpses, which is the souls equivalent. And then well cap heals you. Thirty health over thirty seconds, which looks like it's not much at all, but Sorry I had to interrupt it, but I knew you were gonna attack me. Hit me. Hit me. <laughs> Easy. Now, what do you guys got? Hiya! We're good. We're good. We're good. Where's the other guy? There he is. Okay. And. One more. Thank you. I'm being a little bit careless, but that's the good thing about this game is it it is Dark Souls esque heavily, but it's a lot more forgiving, and I I respect Dark Souls for being hard, right? I'm not like oh boohoo baby, but there are some points like when you're first uh, versing a boss for the first time, and it insta kills you, and you're like oh okay, so I guess I gotta dodge that. 
It's kind of annoying, but this game is a lot more generous with its enemy types. Don't get me wrong, it does have some bosses that are like, oh my god, that's really, you know, how how would I have known that? But see, I have a feeling you were going to leave me alone, but I can't risk that chance. Just can't. Sorry. All right, what do you got? Pick up boiled frog. I'll take it. It's mine now, sir. I'm kind of lost. Ah, oh, bear trap. Yeah. The bear traps you gotta watch out for. Plot twist. Bear traps aren't your friends. Nope, dodge. Nope, dodge. Okay, there's an example of first time dying. Now, I can go back for my soul. If I can get to it. Or my shell, my bad. And then retrieve it. But I believe I can only do that once. Oh, hey. Thank you. That doesn't, like, reactivate, does it? I don't know how you missed that. Thank you. Don't mind me. Just killing uh, all your friends while you eat soup. And there's a big guy. Hi, big guy. Thank you for setting that bear trap off. Can you get caught in the bear trap? Come on. You know you want to. Right there. Right there. You can. <laughs> Easy. Easy. One more hit, thank you. I was about to cry if that wouldn't have killed him. I feel so bad. I'm sorry. Like, I know I just killed, like, practically your entire family without saying a word, but, like, you don't understand. You were going to kill me. Okay. I didn't mean to come back just for that. I was trying to remember where I was going. So we go up here, and there's like a merchant, and your quest is given to you. And for the longest time, I didn't know there was a merchant up here. Am I going the right way? I don't think I am. Yeah, I'm not. Is there... No, okay, nothing right there. Maybe we gotta keep going around. And I don't know, I've never learned what to do with those frogs. Statues? I don't like that sound. What? I don't like that sound at all. Oh yeah, and this is where you meet the goth girl. I remember my title for the, yeah, hey! Pray, what wayward spirit beckons? How you do, goth girl? I shall name you family. Uh -huh. And you may call me Sesta Janessa. Alright, Janessa. You're uninitiated in the Raphaid's mysteries, I see. Absolutely. What a curiosity you are. Wearing a man like a shell. All the time, baby. You've awakened him, but you know nothing of him yet. You mind enlightening me? Fetch me one of his mementos, and some tar too. And I'm sure we can stir up some recollections. Will do, Chief. Of course. First, you must find his name. Senseless muttering. Sip the divine tar? Sure. I don't know what that means. I remember what that means. So, okay, so, and this is the upgrade tree for the characters. And each one, I believe, has a different upgrade tree, but in order to upgrade them, you have to find the shell or its name. Which costs money? Yes. Wait, do I buy it for money? No, I, I must just seek name. I gotta hold it. Okay, yeah. So I can buy his name. War Tar, and then I have Clemson, which is basically like levels. The brigands pointed us toward the temple. Shunned by the devout. Their allegiances lie to those who offer ta, or spirits. They entertain themselves with drunken antics or violent cruelties. They know better than to attack us. But they followed us at a distance, hoping for scraps. Okay. 
So now this is a skill tree. And it, as you can see, it cost a whole bunch, which I really like. Um... So we just need to get more tar. But unlocking his name unlocked potential for upgrades. This right here is where we can retract our shells. So say I want a different shell, then I would go to him. And I believe it also tells us where the shells are. Pretty vague, other than the final area being her torch. You can kill him. <laughs> you can kill her, just like the Dark Souls. And these are the shell's weapons. Right? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, okay. I like it. And then, last but not least, this guy. If you can call him a guy. I've never been able to successfully use the Tarnished That's Seal. Better. Thank you. No problem, Birdman. It's been so long since anyone raised a hand toward me in kindness. You seem different, untouched by false truths. Unfortunately, I have little to offer you, save for that tarnished seal in your hands, a small gift. But I expect you will find it useful. Would you grant me another favor? Deep within the temples of the devout, you'll find the sacred glands of the revered. Bring the glands back to me. So I can extract the true nectar. Just enough to heal me. Perhaps you too can use it to free yourself from this wretched land. Before you end up like me. Alright, so sacred tar of uh, nectar glimpse thing. Turn to seal, the old prisoner is gifted you a turn to seal. It enables you to parry enemy strikes interrupting their attacks. The seal will also warn you of incoming Invariable attack. Seal infusion. The old prisoner has infused a seal, giving you the parry ability to leave an enemy vulnerable to an empowered repost. The seal requires great resolve to harness with an infusion. Again, never were able to do that. Now there's a merchant somewhere. Oh, that's the upgrade table, right. And then here's the merchant, right? Oh yeah, down below. Great, great. There we go, and you get to pet the cat. It's a cute cat. Hello, kitty. Good cat, good kitty. Good kitty, good kitty. Yeah, such a good kitty. What do you got, big guy? Specimen. I sure am, I guess. Rather dashing in that curious attire. Awesome. And what if on the inside? Hollow, you wouldn't believe it. You must be a gentleman. I absolutely am. Certainly not one of those boorish fanatics. Your cat won't stop purring. In the meantime, me. why not take a look at my wares? Sure. Surely there's something you'll fancy amongst so. my collection. So I'm assuming we, we got to purchase some of these to understand what they do. Quenching acid. Simple loot. Um, large bolt. I believe that's for the uh, ballistic thingy. Interesting. All right, so we just need a bunch of tar. Hey, little cat. I won't pet you again, but I appreciate you letting me pet you the first time. And I can't ring this bell, right? It's like, no, no, okay. So now we uh, explore a little bit. Uh, 
Do I become hardened when I dodge? I just noticed that. And you're dead. Nope. But now you're dead. Hit me. Nope, don't hit me. Fine, don't hit me. See if I care. Just die beneath my blade, you heathen. Don't let my investment into this game think that I'm not having fun. I am. My dialogue might be a little bit worse for wear. Just because I'm trying so hard to focus on this game and make sure I don't meet an untimely death. I should probably connect with people a little bit more often, shouldn't I? There we go. I'll go ahead and pop this so I can heal just a teeny bit. Easy. And you're dead. You're not dead yet. But you're almost dead. And that's gotta stand for something. Can't open these chests. I don't know what I'm gonna end the first video off. I like I wanna keep playing. But I should probably end it off eventually. Right? <laughs> to make it go on forever. Hmm. How about, oh, are we at the beginning area? No, are we? We are, interesting. Gonna be honest, we'll fight you. I hate everything you stand for. The noises in this game. Wait, what? Oh, hi, precious. Do we take him on? Let's let's look at our inventory. That's really bright. Use this item to reveal its effect. Use. Uh, how do I use? Use item. It adds glimpses. Okay. Glimpse of futility and wisdom. So I just do we lose our glimpses when we die? I hope not. <laughs> Rotten food. Does it hurt us? Restores a... Oh, so it gets rid of Resolve for a little bit of HP. I, I'm okay with that, actually. Um, I'm gonna equip this somewhere. All my healing items. And Remnant of Tar. Does that give us Tar? Okay. Fantastic. Use this item to reveal its effect? Can't. Effigy of a whore. Harris horse. Nay, you're wrong. Um, I believe this hurts you. Not 100% sure, but I believe it does. So we'll try to fight this guy. Hit me. Whoa! I got BS on that. I call huge BS on that. That really hurts my feelings. Can I like run away from me now? Dodge bear traps. Is he still coming? I hit another bear trap. No, let me out. I wonder if he can get caught in the bear traps. He's running away now. Good, 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 good. All right, so <laughs> I might have hardened for too long, and that's why he almost killed me, or he got through my shield, or maybe I unhardened or something stupid. I'm not a hundred percent sure, sure what happened there. In description: The old prisoner sits contentedly, contentedly upon atop his port perch, awaiting the newest me. The unborn must be greeted with gifts, but gifts they will bestow. In return of unwavering loyalty. Okay, so I'm back to full health. Should I try? I mean, he's not going to kill me, right? Because I'm back to full health. 
Is he back to full health? Though? He is. Okay. Okay, there we go. No, don't roll back in front of him. No, run. Oh, nice dodge. This guy's easier than the first guy I fought. Come on. Dodge. Use this. Hurry. No run. Wait, can I not use my resolve or harden ability if I have resolve? No resolve? I have no clue. No, I can't. Right. Thank you. Regain your stamina. It's alright. I have no more healing items. Oh, okay. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm deady. It's alright. We're alright. I gotta use those attack patterns, that's all. Hit him hard. Run. Please, for the love of God, no stamina. We're good, we're good. Gotta be more careful, man. Run. Gain your stamina. We're good, we're good. Oh my goodness, I almost didn't have uh, my Harden ability. I gotta be more careful about that. No, no. Oh my goodness, how did I not regret that? That was terrifying. Oh god, dodge. Oh my goodness, I thought I was still hardened. Dude, I am messing up all over the place. How am I not dead? Dodge. Oh my goodness. I'm not getting punished for my mistakes. It's infuriating. Doesn't he attack like five times? Ow. Please just keep dodging. Hey, there's a hole there. Just looking around. Oh, shouldn't have, shouldn't have went Sorry, he's gonna attack. No, he's not gonna keep attacking. No, why would you undo the hardening, you numbskull? Dodge. Okay, he's almost dead, so are we, but he's almost deader. No, I just go. Just, it's alright. There we go. Easy. Nothing to it. Give me whatever you just gave me. Easy. Easy. Mechanical spike. A spike that is embedded within the hollowed sword. Sword. Well, I think that'll actually do it for the first video. That was a pretty easy fight, if I do say so myself. We haven't been here yet. Can I? Oh, I, ooh, I don't know if I want to do that yet. But that was easy. Sue, Sue was so easy. It was. Oh, that's my guy breathing. Oh my god, my heart. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to go ahead and show your support, drop a like down below. Comment what you thought of the video and what you would like to see in the future. And subscribe to watch said content. Thank you guys, guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Deuces!